Rhonda, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, by the way, Furious 7 was awesome. You Thank were great you. in that one. Yeah. And you're just as well, just as good in Entourage. So how exciting. It really is. It's an exciting time for sure. Did you watch the show when it was on? Were you a big fan? Not when it was on. Uh, coincidentally, right before, like a couple weeks before I got the call to be in the film, I just started binge watching the show as part of my training camp because in my free time I'm so sore I can't move and I just can't do anything. And so um, I, need a, I needed to watch something, but all the shows that are out these days are so serious and like stressful and you feel like at the end of it you're like, oh my God. And I needed, because I'm, I'm training, something that would give me energy, make me feel lighter. And Entourage is one of those shows, it's just, one, it's just a feel good show, you know? And by the end of it, you're just like, life is good, I'm going to sleep. And yeah, it, it was cool that right as I started watching, I got the call and it felt like it was meant to be. What was it like to actually work with these guys and see them on the set? <laughs> it was strangely exactly like I thought it would be watching the show. It wasn't like, oh, this is what's on the show, but this is what it is in real life, and you have to pretend it is this way. It was like I got dropped into this this fan fantasized version of Hollywood and got to just be myself and find where I really fit and all that. It's actually kind of funny that we're doing a press junket talking about a movie <laughs> that talks about press junkets and here we are talking about the film. Did that make sense? Uh, yeah, kind of, it's yeah, like yeah. standing in a room there's two mirrors on the side and it reflects back and back and back and back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, obviously you have a great career with the MMA and congratulations on that. Uh, what drew you into acting as well? Well, Acting, strangely, it's it's a lot similar to how I came upon MMA, where I, I had a thought that I really wanted to do it, and I tried to push it out of my mind because I didn't think it was attainable. And eventually, I, I got the opportunity, and I convinced myself, I'm like, okay, no, this is it, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be awesome at it. And the same when I was a kid. I, there were, I used to see like uh, flyers on telephone poles that said, call this number for child acting lessons, and I'd take it to my mom, and she'd be like, no, you're not doing that stuff. And I just tried to push it out of my mind. I'm like, okay, that's not for me. But as soon as I saw that I really had a chance to do this, like when I did, when I started at MMA, I just completely changed my mind. I was like, no, I have to admit to myself, this is something I really care about, that I really want to be good at, and I'm going to work and work until I'm awesome. How many people, like, just like poke fun and say like like in the hallway before I came in somebody looked at me and said she's gonna kick your butt Dave I'm like no I'm afraid no I'm, I'm just is that people make jokes all the time but I just tell them that only amateurs fight for free it's a badge of honor certainly <laughs> all right I got to throw this in there you got a big fight coming up in August yeah you Betch Cohea is August 1st in Rio de Janeiro and if you ever watched Rocky four this is the the chick Brazilian version of it I love it. Well, again, congratulations <laughs> on the film. I'm so happy you're in Honorage. You did a fantastic Thank job. You. And I can't wait to see more so we can talk some more. Yeah, I, I would love to show you some more. So we'll, you'll be back. We'll be back here someday.